I've been a birthday player for my whole life. I love this university and let the same food. I'm proud to finally be a player. Oh, get your lawn! Oh, get Peyton Poulin is living the dream, spending every afternoon watching his beloved Seminoles. A freshman at Florida State University and a Seminole fan since childhood, Peyton was determined to make an impact on the FSU football team. Destiny provided a door as Peyton shared a class with wide receiver Kenny Shaw, and the two formed an instant friendship. Peyton was a big Florida State fan. How He just wanted to get a part of the team, and I took that into my hands and just told him basically come out to practice, just come be a part of the, the brotherhood that we got. And I mean, it's been like, lights out since then. Hey, hey, 300. Hey, oh, really care about <laughs> Always upbeat, always got a smile on his face, always laughing, always energetic and just happy to be out there and practice. And he raises my spirits every day I see him. I was talking to him on the sideline one day, and just to get a laugh out, I think I was talking to Rashad, and I was like, you know, who your favorite player on the team? And he looked at me, he said, the Seminoles. He's a part of this team, and that's how we've accepted him. Hey, tell him to get off the putts. I need about three more minutes. Yeah, um, tell him to get off the putts. Yeah, I mean, I... Oh, I like that one. Hey, tell him. That was a better fight like in the house. Football in my passion. Yeah, I love seeing the team that, that I hear about the most. That just makes me the happy guy He has always wanted to be a Seminole, to be part of the team he adores, and to be there every step of the way with his heroes. But the journey to Tallahassee has been anything but simple. At a young age, Peyton developed schizocephaly, a physical disability similar to cerebral palsy that impacts his ability to speak and have normal motor skills that most people take for granted. You know, the doctors told us that Peyton wasn't going to be able to walk, um, that he might die uh, at a certain age, um, that he may not ever be able to do anything. It is one of the most hurtful things I think you can experience as a parent uh, when, a, when a child is having a seizure and you can't stop it. it. It really, really hurts from everything inside of you. I am not supposed to be here. The doctor said that I will be in bed the rest of my life. They said that I will not be able to know my own name. Despite the doctor's diagnosis, Peyton was determined to overcome every obstacle put in his path. He excelled at Harmony High School in St. Cloud, Florida, from becoming a star chess player to being named prom king and making an instant impact as a member of the high school football team. He had to take a choice of to either stay in school and work hard or take a couple years off of school to be able to walk. And Peyton chose school over that. And that is a really hard, the hard thing to talk about. And um, as we all sat down, it was a big decision. You know, if you get a couple years of physical therapy, you're gonna have to take off of school and you're going to have to just focus on that and you can't focus on school. And uh, Peyton made the decision to focus on school and focus on his dream. I'm here at Florida University. This is my dream. I am going to be playing at my own time. When it came time to graduate from Harmony High, Peyton knew he needed to overcome one final obstacle. He wanted to receive his diploma like every other high school student. To have the determination to walk across the stage and received what he earned after years of struggle. I didn't know that he was gonna get up out of his chair to receive his diploma. 
took me totally by surprise. When he got up, had some assistance, and he received the, the diploma from the assistant principal. I was on my feet. Everybody else was as well. 44 years of teaching, without a doubt, the most outstanding graduation I ever was, was a part of because of Peyton. It was great. It showed the strength of him to say, you know, I'm going to do it. This is what I earned, you know, and he completely earned it. He needed to walk across the stage. It was just, it felt really overwhelming just to see it. And everybody in the whole arena was crying and shouting for him. And it's been an inspiration to Florida State's coaches and student athletes to see a young man that will never stop regardless of any limitation. Man, Peyton, man, running, man. The times that you feel sorry for yourself, the things that other people go through, and, and we all do it. We all get complaining about our everyday lives and this, that, and the other, and how bad it is. And there's always someone out there that has a different circumstance, but to watch him do it with such a smile on his face and have such a great attitude, I think it just puts things in perspective for those guys and makes them appreciate what they do have. He just showed you that, you know, take advantage of the fact that you are here and love and embrace the fact that you are here and the fact that we can touch him and, you know, even though he's been through so much and he could be down about anything, but he, he wants to come out here. He wants to interact with us. You know, that just shows, you know, keep going. Whatever you're going through, push through it. It's, it, it can only get better in the situation. For a guy to be still living and still have be up, be like that, hey, it's, it's way more than football. And life, life is way more than football. It's way more, much more to it. And Peyton is that. I never stop, and that's, that's who I am. And I, I have a big heart. It's just me, please, she has, and then the right to do the same thing that I, I do. I do. I feel like they are my brothers now. And it's become even more. Peyton is not only a part of the Florida State family, he's a symbol of hope, of what it means to persevere against all odds and overcome the impossible. One day I want to be able to walk. I want to be able to get out of the scene. And I want to be able to run a marathon. It's amazing what people can overcome. And it is. And, and, and the first thing is a mindset. It's, an, it's a mindset and an attitude. And when you have the one that he has, it, it would not surprise me one bit to watch him get up out of that wheelchair one day and walk. Because, I mean, that, that's just the kind of guy he is and the kind of person he is. And when you're around him, you understand that. If he's provided his way to get him on to the football team, just being, being there and being around the team, I'm sure God's got a purpose and a plan for him to get him out of that chair too, and I hope that it's Florida State's a part of it because it's going to be awesome.